Langenfelder here in third. De Wolf pushing on. Trying to nick that third place away from the German. Looking down the leaderboard, Rick Helsinger in 28th place. Not sure what happened to him on the opening lap. The Monster Energy Yamaha rider. The sole Monster Energy Yamaha rider in MX2 this weekend with his teammate Thibaut Beniston picking up uh, a couple of injuries here and there from that big crash yesterday in time practice down the long descent. Two laps complete, Lucas Coonan, no surprise, fastest lap of the race. And then guess what, his teammate here, 74, eclipses that by about a half a second. Lap times, 152.434. Langenfelder, defensive to the inside on the Red Bull Gas Gas. The Nastan Husqvarna of Dwarf, there in fourth position, looking to find a way through at the earliest opportunity. He is currently about four seconds down on the leader, his teammate Lucas Coonan. Coonan, victorious in the Ram qualifying race yesterday, putting his bike on pole position, victorious in race one, currently leading race two, looking to win all three races here this weekend if he can. Slight bobble on the exit of the turn for Langenfelder. Nothing in it, though, between the factory Gas Gas and the factory Husqvarna. All of a sudden, though, De Wolf gets some good drive and also finds his way into third place. So De Wolf moving forward early in this second race. Next man in his line of sight, Sasha Koonen on the number 19. Red Bull KTM, and there he is, just around the right-hander. De Wolf chasing him down into turn one. Here's how he did it. Well, that was a very wide line there. But this was the pass here for De Wolf as he moved into third with that pass on Langenfelder. The end of lap three then, Lucas Koonen, fastest again, briefly, but this time he holds on to that lap record, a 51.3 compared to the 51.9 of Dewolf. 